Welcome students. Today we are going to learn the second topic in agricultural practices and that is agriculture implements. In my previous video we have learnt about the loosening of the soil, tilling and plowing up the soil. Now today we are going to learn about plow, hoe, cultivator and traditional tools. So under this category we are going to learn about some modern tools and some traditional tools. So let us learn all these things about these tools with their graphics and with their pictures. Agriculture implements. The meaning of implements is tools. Whatever tools we are using for the agriculture purpose, they are called agriculture implements. Under this category, we are going to learn three tools. First is plow, second is hoe, and third one is cultivator. This is a manual cultivator and nowadays we are using tractors as a cultivator. So let us understand first about plow. So the purpose, function or where it is used, then it is used in tilling of the soil, adding fertilizer to the crop and removing the weeds and turning the soil. For all these four purposes, we are using plow and the process is known as plowing. Now this is made up of wood and drawn by a pair of bulls or animals. As we can see, it has been tied along with the pair of bulls. So it is made up of wood. As you can see, this complete log is made up of wood. It contains a strong triangular iron strip called plowshare. So as we can see here, this is triangular and it is made up of iron which will go inside the land and it will, will turn the soil upside down. It will go inside the soil and it will turn soil upside down. The main part of the plow is long log of wood which is called a plow shaft. So the plow shaft as you can see into the figure this long log of wood is known as plow shaft. There is a handle at one end of the shaft. The other end is attached to a beam which is placed on bull's neck. Here as we can see there are two end. This is one end and this is the second end. As we can see here there is a handle which will be in the hand of the farmer. This second end is attached to the beam which is placed on bull's neck. So there will be two end. One end as we can see it here and second end is over here. The pair of bulls and a man can easily operate the plow. The indigenous wooden plow is increasingly being replaced by iron plows nowadays. As the modern techniques are coming into agriculture, the ancient and indigenous tools are being replaced by modern tools. Our second tool is hoe and it is used for removing weeds and loosening up the soil. As we can see into the figure, this band plate is a very hard plate. It is being dragged on the land and it will take out the weed and it is being dragged up on the land by animal. So it has a long rod of wood or iron as we can see here that a strong broad and band plate of iron is fixed on the other hand and it will work like a blade. So we are talking about this band plate. It is pulled by the animal and weed will get removed and along with that it is also used in loosening of the soil. Then third one is cultivator. So nowadays plowing is done by tractor driven cultivator and the use of cultivator saves the labor and time. As we can see here, the tractor is being used for plowing and it is also used for cultivation.